Welcome to Darren Daily On Demand, your most trusted resource to help you become better every day. Today's episode is another special recap of this week's Darren Daily Mentor Sessions. This dynamic recap was generated entirely by AI and features two hosts discussing the key principles and takeaways from the previous five workday episodes of Darren Daily. Now remember, if you aren't a member of the Darren Daily community to receive every morning delivery of brand new episodes of Darren Daily straight to your inbox, you can join over at darrendaily.com com forward slash join. Let's dive into the episode. Hey, everyone. Welcome back for another deep dive. This time, we're all about unlocking that inner winner. And who better to guide us than Darren Hardy? Oh, great choice. We've got five power-packed days of his Darren Daily episodes to unpack. Think of it as a crash course in resilience and leveling up your life. Darren Hardy is fantastic for this. He's got that knack for combining solid research with advice you can actually use. I'm ready to dive in. Where do we start? Right off the bat. Okay. Darren throws us a curveball with this concept he calls the winner effect. Oh. It all starts with a study about mice. And trust me, it gets really interesting. Okay, I'm intrigued. Mice. Lay it on me. So, researchers found that if you let a mouse win a few staged fights early on, Uh It starts racking up real wins later. Really? And not just because it learned better fighting skills. It's like those early wins flip the switch in their brains. <laughs> That's wild. It's like they develop this I'm invincible mindset. And that actually starts to impact their performance for real. And Darren connects this to human behavior with a brilliant example. Okay. He talks about legendary football coach Vince Lombardi. And this time he's talking about a quarterback throwing too many completions in practice. Wait, seriously? You'd think a coach would want their quarterback to be on fire, right? You'd think so. But Lombardi actually got furious about it. Wow. Turns out he was deliberately trying to build up his defense's confidence. He knew that even if it meant a slightly off practice for the offense, those early wins, even if a little manufactured, would pay off big time later in the season. Wow, that's next level coaching. Thinking about the psychology of winning like that. It makes you realize how important it is to set yourself yeah. up for those early wins. Exactly. And what I love is that Darren doesn't just leave it on the football field. He talks about using this in everyday life, like mentally rehearsing a big presentation or a tough conversation. Because your brain doesn't know the difference between a real win and a vividly imagined one. You start associating yourself with success even before the actual event. Exactly. It's like you're pre-playing the win. Which I love. And that segues perfectly into Darren's thoughts on personal responsibility. Okay. Because creating those wins. Even the mental ones takes effort. You have to. Do your own push-ups, as he puts it. I love that quote. He's not afraid to be blunt, is he? It's so easy to fall into the trap of waiting for someone else to fix things. Or make things happen. But Darren reminds us that real change comes from taking full ownership. It's such a refreshing dose of reality. Especially in a world that often promotes a sense of entitlement. You are the hero of your own story. Absolutely. And he doesn't stop there. He takes it a step further. Challenging us not just to take responsibility for our own lives. Like for the impact we have on the world. He talks about producing valuable results. That matter. That contribute. So it's about owning our lives and our impact. Now that's a powerful combination. It really is. It's about aligning our actions with our values. And striving to make a difference. Speaking of making a difference. Darren then dives into what makes a great leader. He lays out these four essential pillars. Character, awareness, courage, and communication. I love how he emphasizes the importance of all four. It's not just about charisma or being a great speaker. You need that internal strength. The character, the self-awareness. The courage to take action. And the ability to communicate effectively. And he's very clear that if you're missing even one of these pillars. It can have serious consequences. Right. You could be the most charismatic person in the room. But lacking self-awareness. That's a recipe for disaster. It's about finding that balance. Nurturing all four pillars to become the kind of leader people trust. And want to follow. You know, it's funny how we often look to larger-than-life figures for leadership lessons. Right. But Darren points out that we can learn a lot from the animal kingdom, too. Yeah, totally. He uses this really cool example. Of how different species form alliances in the wild. Oh, yeah. It's not all about competition. Sometimes it's about recognizing that we need each other to thrive. And he's not just talking about cute animal friendships here. No. He breaks these strategic alliances down into three specific categories. Mentors, 
success alliances, and something he calls learning alert system. I love that. And each one plays a critical role in our growth. Let's start with the mentors. Okay. Those individuals who are a few steps ahead of us on the path. Who've already navigated challenges we're facing. They're like having a guide in uncharted territory. Exactly. Sharing their wisdom so we can avoid the pitfalls they encountered. Exactly. And then there are the success alliances. These are our tribes. Our people, those who are on a similar journey. It's about surrounding yourself with people who get it, who challenge and support you. People who inspire you to become the best version of yourself. And you know that can make all the difference, especially when things get tough. It's so true. Oh. And then there's that third type of alliance. The learning alert systems. Honestly, when I first heard this, I was a little confused. I can see how it might seem a bit abstract. It's about curating the information we allow into our lives. Okay. Think of it like this. We're bombarded with information constantly, I right? I don't know about it. Social media, news, podcasts. It's overwhelming. Exactly. And not all of that information is created equal. Some of it is noise distractions. Or even negativity that can derail us from our goals. So learning alert systems are about being selective. Yes. Like choosing what we read, who we listen to. Even what we allow ourselves to see on social media. Precisely. It's about being intentional with the information we consume. And making sure it aligns with our goals, values. And aspirations. So instead of endlessly scrolling and passively consuming whatever pops up, we should be building a network of resources that actively contribute to our growth. That's a game changer. It really is. Because the people we surround ourselves with and the information we consume they have a direct impact on our mindset, our beliefs. And ultimately, our actions. And in speaking of impact, Darren throws out this question that he believes speaks volumes about a person's potential. He asks, tell me the size of the problem that stresses you out. I love this question. Because it gets right to the heart of resilience and our capacity for growth. So are we talking about those everyday annoyances? Or something much bigger. That's the thing. It's subjective, right? What stresses one person out might be a walk in the park for another. And that's where Darren's insight really hit home for me. Yeah. It's not about seeking out stress. But about building that mental muscle. Right. To handle the bigger challenges that come with aiming higher. Exactly. Yeah. If we want to play bigger in life. We have to increase our capacity for stress. Not by sweating the small stuff. But by developing the resilience to bounce back from setbacks and keep moving forward. It's like leveling up in a video game. Totally. You can't handle the big boss battles with the same skills you had at the beginning. You have to level up your resilience, your skills, your mindset. Exactly. It's a process of growth and expansion. And that's what I find so inspiring about Darren's work. It's not just about achieving success. But about becoming the kind of person who can handle success. Right. Who can handle the inevitable challenges that come with pursuing any worthy goal. That's such a good point. Because it's not always going to be smooth sailing, right? But it's about having that unshakable belief in yourself. Yeah. And the resilience to weather the storms. Absolutely. So as we wrap up this deep dive. I'm curious what's resonating with you. What are some key takeaways you can apply to your own life? For me, it's all about taking ownership. Owning our wins. Owning our setbacks. Owning the information we let into our minds. And surrounding ourselves with people who lift us up. It's about realizing we have more agency than we think we do. I love. It's about making conscious choices in every area of our lives. That align with the kind of future we want to create. Building that winner effect mindset. Yes. Surrounding ourselves with our own personal board of advisors. And constantly seeking growth. It's been an amazing journey unpacking these Darren Daily episodes, right? It really has. From those little mice to those big leadership lessons. Absolutely. It's a reminder that success leaves clues. And we can learn from the best. Whether it's a legendary football coach, a group of gazelles on the savannah, or even a few scrappy mice. And on that note, we'd love to hear from you. What resonated most with you today? What's one action step you're inspired to take? Let's keep the conversation going in the comments. Until next time, keep diving deep. That wraps up today's episode of Darren Daily On Demand. We hope this special AI-powered recap gave you some valuable insights. If you're ready to continue leveling up and becoming better every day, make sure you join Darren Hardy and thousands of high achievers over on Darren Daily. Visit darrendaily.com forward slash join to get free daily mentoring that will keep you focused and moving forward. Thanks for listening.